Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Cub and welcome back to our Sky Factory 2.5 Let's Play Adventure. Before we get started, let me go ahead and point out that yes, I have been ill for about a week. <clears throat> you can probably still hear it in my voice. That's why the video is kind of cut off midway through last week, but I am back. I am medicated, caffeinated, and hopefully ready to continue recording today. Now, I have been doing a lot of work trying to move things over into the new mansion here in the sky. It's looking pretty good. Nothing is permanent yet. For instance, this setup here is far from ideal. We're not getting nearly enough light to keep this thing powered consistency, consistently, I should say. But it is kind of working. And as you can see, I haven't completely finished. There's some more things that need to be moved. Like this entire contraption here needs to be moved. Although I should note that during the process of building the house, the three and a half hours or however long it took for us to do that, this did completely fill up and I completely emptied it and we have a lot of resources now. If we head inside, <clears throat> you'll see I've been, well, I've been trying to come up with creative places to put things. I've got some old rotting flesh up here. I've got a crafting area where you can do a lot of four by four crafting. I've got uh, smelting over here hooked up to a furnace or I should say to a chest so we can automatically process the items uh, I've got <clears throat> Transfers and an upgrade. It's a pretty good setup. I have been getting dirt inside here this I just needed places to store things. It's by no means organized In fact, it's very messy and difficult to find things and I've started work out back on building our beautiful rolling hills that are eventually going to surround the the mansion, the factory, whatever you'd like to call it. In fact, let's go ahead and get started today. I've got a lot of plans for today. There's a lot of things we need to do. <clears throat> Obviously, i got to try to keep it short because my voice is going to go out on me. But we need to find those grass seeds because we need to get those planted and start work there. Because once we get grass growing, we'll be able to get more seeds by applying some bone meal to the grass and then grass will grow like the tall grass and then we can use that tall grass to hopefully get more seeds seeds that's regular seeds pumpkin seeds melon seeds grass seeds all right so we've only got two of these so we need to be careful about placement maybe one there and one here all right and then from there they should spread out and grow and be wonderful all right well that's going to take a while so we'll just go ahead and leave it to do its thing Next up, we need to sort out a better method for storage. And I'm thinking we probably have enough resources now to maybe go ahead and build some proper chests. I'm talking iron and gold chests, specifically gold. Now that I think about it, I just want to build some gold chests because they're nice. <clears throat> they're bigger than a double chest and they take up the space of a single chest. And for that, we're going to need all of our iron. Now we have a lot of iron. It's just the issue today is going to be finding it. Because everything is so scattered about, I'm not really sure where anything is anymore. And I said we had plenty of iron, but now I'm not so sure. We've got about 18 on us. That's not really enough to do anything with. Boy, we've got a lot of diamonds, though. Well, I'll tell you what. I know where we do have a lot of iron. It's just not processed and ready to be used yet is the problem. Well, you know what? Ah, uh, Shrek me. It's all in here. We've got a lot of it waiting to go through. We've got eight pulverized iron. I guess we can go ahead and... This is cool. Chuck it in there. It'll get sucked up over here where it'll be evenly distributed and then cooked up and then redistributed or redeposited back in here. Really snazzy. I'm real happy with these... These Ewe's workshop tables. They're great. You are still working on gold. Though. Oh, no. There you go. Now you're working on iron. And you're working a little bit faster now, too. Well, that's good. I'm not entirely sure why. This setup is not ideal. I don't think this either of them are getting enough light <laughs> to uh, to operate, but at least, you know what, they, they are running. They are giving us iron. They're giving us iron pretty quickly. Okay, well, who can complain about that, right? So the iron chest is just a standard chest surrounded with iron. We could just build some more chests. I'm almost positive that I've got some in these chests. Chests within chests. That's chestception, my friends. But I'm also not entirely sure where they are. One of these is likely to... Yeah, look, we can just break at least one of these. I broke the wrong one of the two. But it's fine. we got enough space in our inventory to hold all this stuff. So we will... Boom, we got enough to make three iron chests. So we'll make two, and then we'll surround these with gold. Awesome, we'll make a couple of these. We could also take these to the next level. If we put some glass and diamonds around them. And in fact... We might as well, because that's... <clears throat> my voice is cracking really bad. There is a lot of phlegm in the back of my throat. I'm sure you all wanted to know that. There you go. I told you. You can do with that information whatever you'd like. Do I have glass? 
It's very possible I've walked past glass a dozen times now because I don't know where things are stored in these chests. Ah, you know what? We can get glass. It's not like a difficult thing to do. Excellent. I've got to have a hammer around here somewhere. Oh, it's in my inventory. Oh, it's almost dead though. Well, yeah, there we go. I think we'll just go ahead and make a normal hammer for the rest of this. We don't really need a, a big one for this. All right, so that'll give us 12 gravel. And then 12 gravel will give us 12 sand. There we go. And then we can just throw that in here. It should automatically start cooking it up into glass. Excellent. We'll come back and maybe right over here. Oh, we've run out of space again. See, this is a thing that happens. This is a thing that happens often with this setup. Uh, but we need to put the diamonds here to here. Put the gold chests in the middle. And then get some of that glass. And we'll put it on top and bottom. Actually, we will need... 12 pieces exactly. All right, diamond chests. Cool. We got two of those. We can place them anywhere we want to. We'll put them over here. Look at all that storage space. All right, I'll worry about sorting later. For right now, I just want to get all this stuff moved and clean up the floor a little bit so it's not so many chests just sticking around. Oh, wow. Okay, it just broke everything. Great. Wonderful. All right, so we've almost got two of these full. Fortunately, we should have... You have some more iron. Good. Just enough to... Oh, wait, no, what we needed was more chests. Where did they go? Did I put them in the first one? There they are. Good. All right, great. And also, we're going to need some more uh, cobblestone to turn into sand. Unless I already got sand or gravel. One of the two. I'm just an old lump of coal. But I'm going to be a diamond someday. More glass, please. Thank you. And also, have I put an upgrade in here yet? We do not have an efficiency upgrade in here yet, but because we don't have any speed upgrades, it doesn't consume power too quickly. It's not It's not all that bad. It's livable. We can definitely live with the limitations we've got. All right. More iron for you. Looks like we can get two more of these. Really, we only need one more. So we won't go ahead and use up all of our resources just yet. And of course, we've got just enough glass to make this happen. Great. There we go. So everything that we had stored in however many double chests out here we can now fit in three diamond chests it looks like we're gonna have room to spare now it's still messy it's it's not organized i'll have to organize it but as long as i've got all this free space now and i don't have to look through as many chests to find things i'm i'm a happy camper all right grass growth is looking great wonderful we're gonna have lots of grass back here next up we've got a lot of torches around here i think we're gonna fix that with some carpenters blocks so what we're gonna do is just type in carpenters uh all of these things all start here are they are start here i'm having trouble talking but they are start here let's go ahead and grab all of the wood we can find and all of the sticks we can find and there's probably more in the other chests also there's probably more in that chest and i just didn't notice you know what? i think we got plenty right now though so we'll go ahead and we'll start down here We'll do a ring of sticks. Some, oh, wait a minute. What is that? Scaffolding, right, useless. Okay, that's what we want right there. Carpenter's blocks. That'll give us about 15 of them. Now, these guys are awesome. You can do all sorts of things. We can make doors with them, for example. So, in fact, we might just go ahead and do that. We'll make a couple of doors because we're going to need some. Actually, we need four doors now that I think about it. Give me more sticks, please. Thank you. I didn't mean to get that many sticks, but you know what? I'm going to pretend like it wasn't a mistake, and we're going to roll with it. There we go. Get a lot more carpenter's blocks now, at least. Untabar. All right, clear all this stuff out, and we'll make a couple more doors. There we go. So now we've got doors for all the walls. We can walk around here, and eventually, I mean, I don't think we'll need these. I think we'll have everything lit well enough that we won't have to wor worry about monsters spawning, but just in case. There, we've got doors now. Of course, now we need to decide what we want them to look like, and I guess if we wanted to... We could just... I mean, these are the blocks we use for the building itself. We've got plenty of those. We could just um, place those in... Oh, oops. Excuse me. Place those in there. That could kind of work. What we need now is a hammer, though, because I don't really like the design of it. <coughs> we need more iron for that. Do we have any more? We should have some more. Yes. Wow. Okay, that thing is actually booking it pretty quickly. I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> is it getting dark yet? I do have a bed set up. So we can take a nap when we need to. In fact, it might have already gotten dark and then daylight again, and I'm just not paying any attention. That's 100% possible. I notice I'm not paying any attention to my hunger either. Fortunately, we've just got food literally hanging from the rafters. So, not that big a deal. Okay, we got ourselves some more iron here. We'll build a hammer. I think this was the recipe. That was the recipe. This? This was the... What was the recipe? 
All right, you know what? I, was, I wasn't even slightly close. Okay, so we've got... Let's see how this looks from the outside. Not that anyone's ever going to come visit. Oh, you know what? I don't like it up against the inside like that. Let's move it to the outside first off. Uh, do we need to use a pick? Pick is much faster. Of course, it takes on the properties of whatever you stuck inside of it. So we had stone in there. So it makes more sense to use... There we go. A... <coughs> to, to use a, a pick on it. All right, so if we wanted to kind of go with a... Perfect. There is no door. The door is a lie. Big glass door. I kind of like that. I don't know if that's really fitting with the rest of the Actually, it's perfectly fitting with the aesthetic of the building. We've got these kind of crisscrosses in the windows, and now we've got it in the door, like a nice mesh door. All right. I like that. We'll go with that. I mean, we can always change it later if I decide to uh, in the future. Oh, whoops. Of course, it's going to be difficult to put these outside right now. I guess I can just do this number. Excellent. Okay, so there's the doors taken care of. Now what we need to do is we need to sort out lighting. So we should have a pretty good supply of glowstone around here somewhere. Yeah, we got plenty of it. What we're going to do next is we're going to replace tiles in the ground with the carpenter's blocks. And I guess we'll probably replace them. We need to pick like some sort of an order to replace them in. But basically what we can do is if we break all these... And, again, I'm sure many of you will already know this, but, you know, for the folks who haven't maybe watched some of my previous series or aren't familiar with this mod, if we tap F7, you can see where monsters spawn. Well, if we right-click with the glowstone dust, a shift right-click, boom, we've placed the glowstone dust inside of there, it lights up, and then we can just put another block of acacia wood plank in there. Awesome. You've now blended light into the ground. It's, like, it's an invisible light. It's awesome. So I'm going to place these out kind of strategically, and hopefully we can replace all these torches with them. All right, so we have lit up this side of the house using nothing but those uh, carpenter's blocks. And uh, I thought we were out of them. Apparently not. Blitz rod. Where did I get that from? How long have I been carrying that around? Guess it doesn't matter. But uh, just kind of give you an idea. Here it is with torches. Here it is. Just just lovely, lovely. L ugh. All righty. So there we go. The entire inside of the house is now being lit without the need for torches. Looks fantastic. We've got these great doors here. They're mesh, so we can see through them, and they do blend in nicely with the side of the house. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Goodness gracious, this thing is just churning out the iron like you wouldn't believe. It's, it's actually kind of great. Okay, well, <clears throat> like I say, I'm not really feeling fantastic. I'm still feeling a little ill. Check out the grass, though. This is good. So I think when we come back next time, in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and build that second floor. And then we'll come back when I'm done with that. I've got an idea for energy in the future, but uh, we'll have to... Oh my gosh, you know what? Now, you, you know... Hmm. 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 We'll talk about it when we come back. Until then, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!